Share updated MB500 exam dumps to pass Microsoft Dynamics 365. Finance and Operations Apps Developer Exam. 1. You are training a new Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations Developer. You need to recommend where asynchronous integrations should be used instead of synchronous integrations. For which scenario should you recommend asynchronous integration? A. A retailer requires all new customer data captured at point of sale, POS, terminals through the day sent back to the system. B. A service company needs workers to be able to access just-in-time inventory data from the field by using a third-party software as a service, SaaS, application to ensure they have parts to complete a service. C. A retailer wants to ensure gift card balances are communicated back to the system from point of sale, POS, terminals in near real time. D. A company uses workflow for purchasing approvals, which then sends just-in-time approval information to a third-party application for approvers to review. Answer. A. 2. You are a Dynamics 365 finance developer. You have a solution that records product weights. You must store up to four decimals of precision by using a standard extended data type, EDT. You need to add the field in a new table. Which EDT should you extend? A. Weight B. Markup value C. Weight base D. Amount MST Answer. C. 3. You are a Dynamics 365 finance developer. You have a virtual machine that includes Visual Studio. You need to display the elements by model. What should you do? A. Select Metadata Search from the Dynamics 365 menu. B. Select Model Management from the menu and then select View All Package Dependencies. C. Right-click the Application Object Tree, AOT, node in Application Explorer and select Model View. D. Select Model Management from the menu and then select Refresh Models. Answer. C. 4. You need to meet the requirements for the purchase order creation form. What are two possible ways to achieve this goal? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Create a class and add a form data source event handler method to the class. B. In Application Explorer, Create a table extension and implement validation. C. Implement chain of command, COC, and method wrapping by creating a form extension class. D. In Application Explorer, create a form extension and implement validation. Answer. A. C. 5. A company uses Dynamics 365 Finance. There are performance issues with the sales order list page and invoicing process. You need to diagnose the issues by using the performance timer. Which two processes can the performance timer monitor? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. The longest running SQL statement. B. The X process call stack. C. The metadata of a web session. D. The time consumed by a client and a server. Answer. A. 
D. Six. You are a Dynamics 365 finance developer. You create a key performance indicator, KPI, in a development environment. You need to display the KPI. What should you do? A. Add the KPI to an existing form. B. Create a tile and add the KPI to the tile. C. Create a new workspace and add the KPI to the workspace. Answer. C. 7. You need to implement the payroll application data process. Which two objects should you create? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. A data contract class that uses the data contract attribute attribute B. A service class that has a public method which accepts a single parameter for a contract C. A class that extends size operation service base D. An UI builder class that extends size operation automatic UI builder Answer. A. C. 8. You are a Dynamics 365 supply chain management developer. You are working on a project by using Visual Studio. Several users check out a custom form version control and modify the form. You need to find the user that has added a specific line of code to the form. What should you do? A. Open the object in Object Designer, select the title of the object, and then right-click View History. B. In Solution Explorer, navigate to the object and right-click View History. C. Using Visual Studio, navigate to the object. Add the object to a new solution, and then right-click View History. D. Using Visual Studio, navigate to the object in Application Explorer and right-click View History. Answer. D. 9. You are a Dynamics 365 Finance Developer. You create a Key Performance Indicator, KPI, in a development environment. You need to display the KPI. What should you do? A. Add the KPI to an existing form. B. Create a tile and add the KPI to the tile. C. Create a new workspace and add the KPI to the workspace. Answer. C. 10. A company uses Dynamics 365 Finance. You must add fields to a standard table in Visual Studio. You need to create an extension of the table. What should you do? A. Create a table extension from the base table. B. Create an extension class for the base table. C. Create a new table object in the project. D. Drag the table from the AOT to the project. Answer. A.